it is um, uh, chemical changes in the chromosomes or in the chromatin, which is the chemical uh, name for the chromosomes, kind of, and how the chromos chromosomes are, are, are packed, how densely they are packed, and meaning uh, if they are available for gene expression at all or, 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 or not. So, so it controls the genes uh, at the level of the, of the chromatin in the chromosomes. When you are affected by uh, chemicals, the substances, uh, it may affect not only the DNA and the genes and mutations, but, but the control, the subtle control of, of how the genes are expressed uh, in the chromatin structure. It hopefully can be. I think we are searching for such biomarkers which are meaningful. There are so many changes taking place, so, so it's not easy by now to, to really pinpoint a good biomarker, but we are all looking for, for new kind of biomarkers uh, controlling the epigenetic changes. It's important to, to much more than we do today understand, uh, really understand uh, epigenetics or epigenomics. Uh, we learn more and more, but I would say we don't really understand it. And, and I think complexity is, is the big issue. Th there are three basic levels of epigenetic uh, elements. It's uh, the DNA methylation, the control at, of the DNA molecule itself. And then you have the histone proteins, which are important in, in, in the chromatin structure. And they are chemically modified in, in a large variety of ways. And on top of that, the junk part of the genome, the junk DNA, which uh, when I was a student was 90% uh, of, of the genome. Now we know that this junk part of the genome is not junk at all, it's functional. And it expresses, among many things, uh, non-coding RNA molecules, which is the third level of epigenetic control elements. I think this is extremely important because uh, I guess all of us uh, meeting in, in this workshop have different backgrounds and, and we have different uh, views and ideas about this epigenetic control. And, and when we meet and talk to each other and listen to each other, we get ideas and then we, we realize things we didn't think about else. So, so I, I think this is always important. This is kind of science, uh, the, the important basis for science to have meetings and come together, discuss, uh, disagree, agree, <laughs> go home and think it over and, 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 and get new ideas all the time. So uh, very valuable.